You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. J.J. Weaver was just hitting his stride last year when an ACL injury ended his season. But nine months later, he's back and he's ready for action. Our Maggie Davis caught up with him after practice yesterday to talk about his return to the field. An interesting bet that he has going on with the defense <laughs> and who he wants to honor this season. J.J., I'm sure you're tired of talking about it, but I have to ask, how are you feeling? How's the knee? I'm feeling like today uh, it was raining, so I'll be feeling like whenever it's rain, I feel like aches. But other than that, I'm straight. I feel like I'm 100%. Yep. I can go out there and everything. Stoops talked this week about you got to take the red jersey off at practice. How did that feel? Amazing, man. Uh, I finally can strike somebody, hit somebody. They can hit me now. So it felt good being out there with the team again. When this happened last year, did you think you'd be back for the first game of this season? I had a mindset to be back. Um, Gabe told me the schedule and how everything was going to be. And like Coach Stoops, like Coach White, I literally attack every day like it was going to be my last. So I just attack it hard and trying to come back for the first game Saturday. How excited are you for that first game Saturday? Um, I'm so pumped just to be back with the team, actually play again. So I didn't I did do no scrimmage this year with, uh, for the camp. So. Just actually tackling somebody is going to be amazing. Do you think it's going to be hard to sort of get back into that after so long of not being allowed to, or is it more like riding a bike, like red jerseys off, first game's coming up, good to go? If you love the game, you're just going to full speed, going to come back to you regardless. So at first, I'm going to have some butterflies in my stomach, but first snap, I'm ready. I feel like a lot of times after a guy gets hurt, it's sort of just as mental as it is physical. I talked to Devontae Robinson about that last week, and he was like, so much of that was just believing that it was going to be okay out there. Do you struggle with that at all? Kind of, um, like, certain plays, I'm like, when I'm trying to cut, mm -hmm. I feel it. I mean, I don't. it don't hurt, but it's like, right. should it's I? In your mind. You feel me? Yeah, it's, a, it's basically, yep, a mindset. It just, yep, just, like you said, it's just a mindset for real. So how do you sort of get out of that mindset? Just do it. You feel me? You can't think about it. You just got to do it. If, it, if you if you want to hurt again, just do it. At least do it full speed. That's how I look at it. Yeah. If I'm gonna get hurt again, I'm just gonna go full speed. Everything I do now. I feel like last year, right when you got hurt, was sort of the time when we were like, all right, JJ's getting the hang of this. You know, he's getting into the groove. He's starting to make some big plays. And then of course your season gets cut short. Yeah. Did you feel like that? Did you feel like you were just sort of getting the hang of the game, especially against all those ICC teams? To be honest, like, you know, my father got killed last year too. So that whole year, my mind was just dominate. Just, this is for my father. So. Shoot, me, I've been playing since the first game last year. I feel like I've been playing my best football. I know you've said before that this season and, and every season is going to be for your dad. Does that sort of affect anything for you? Shoot, uh, recently my coach, my coach, head coach Rita, he passed away. So most definitely doing it for my coach and my dad. Every, since, every time I saw this football, I'm going to do it for them. It actually talking about it really helped, helped really? me. Yeah. Really? So yeah. do you think that's sort of a good way for you to cope with it? Yeah, like for sure. Like me being here with the team and talking, like the team know what I'm going through. So they help me talk about it. So now me talking to you about it, it helps too. Like, yeah. yeah, healing process. That's my healing process. Good. Who, who have been sort of your teammates that you feel like have been there for you throughout all of this the most? Uh, Katie McDaniel, that's my roommate. Um, Jordan Wright, Octavius, a lot of them. Basically the whole team. I can't lie, the whole team. I didn't realize you and Katie were roommates. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, that's my boy. How, how is he as a roommate? <laughs> no, just like, uh, he's a great roommate for sure. He's a great roommate, great roommate. Yeah, yeah. who's the better roommate? Who's me. you? Yeah, me. <laughs> you clean up your stuff faster than he does? Man, I clean up the whole house. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everybody says that. Everybody says I'm the better roommate. <laughs> How cool is it then to see both your names on the depth chart this, this first week? We came in together. Um, we was roommates in the dorms and everything. So, uh, this is year two as roommates then? Yeah. Nice. So that's been my dog since we've been here. We've been talking about it. We played it. Like we play opposite side, we play the same position, opposite side. So at home, we watch film together, we talk about everything. Like that's like my best friend on the team. You brought up Jordan Wright earlier as someone who's been there for you. I mean, I feel like especially that position, that's a guy you can really look up to. What have you learned from Jordan so far? Jordan, Lily, like my blood cousin. Um, you know, I transferred from I did transfer. I moved from Florida, Florida to Kentucky. So me and Doug, me and Jordan, um, we've been at the same elementary school together. 
So I've been knowing him really? since. Wow. Yeah, I've been knowing him since I was yeehaw. <laughs> For real. So, wow. uh, I've been knowing, I've been learning a lot from him since yeah. the years go by. So when you all were that young, did you ever imagine like, hey, one day we're gonna go to college nah, together, for, play football for, together? Jordan was a hooper, like he was a basketball yeah. player. So, nah, that's crazy. Brad White's talked a little bit about having the two of you play together this year. What do you think that would look like? Chemistry gonna be crazy. Like we we always have chemistry. So us playing with each other on the field, like last year we we played with a little bit and we dominated. So just our size and length. People, we're going to be the best duo in college football this year. You talk about chemistry. I mean, you have you and a guy you went to elementary school with. You have you and your roommate. I mean, you have a lot of good sort of duos going on here. How much does that chemistry play a part in how good the performance on the field looks? A lot for the outside linebacker group. Like, we can talk to each other on the opposite field. Like, hey, look, this guy coming over. And like, okay, give me a hands up and stuff like that. So it, it helps a lot with both of us, with all three of us. I think a big focus for everybody this year, the defensive guys, the media, the fans, we're all talking about sacks. How much have you all talked about that this offseason? Last year, we was in last in depth chart in sacks. So um, me and Jordan, we got a bet going on. Really? Yeah. So what's the bet? Can you tell the us? The bet, we do like 500 push-ups. Whoever gets the first sack. Whoever gets the first sack, the other guy has to yeah, do 500? Yeah, whoever gets the first Ooh, sack. Okay, so during that ULM game, we're going to be all eyes on the two of you me to see who's going to have to do this. Do oh, yeah, me, me and Josh Paschal, too. We better that. Yeah, really? Josh, I got you. Yeah, <laughs> I got Josh, too. That's really too. funny. Brad's talked a lot about this can't be one guy stepping up to sort of fix that, you know, last in the SEC and sacks last season. That's not a one-person no, job. No, it's that's not. A, that's a as whole a defense, yeah. Yeah, so how do you sort of focus on that? We just got to trust each other. Like the DBs got to make sure they D up for the D line can rush. And for the D line to rush, we have to actually be physical and fast to get off the ball. We can't, last year we patty Kate a lot. And I would be honest, I was one of them guys too. So uh, we just got to be more aggressive up front. And then the DBs just got to be more covered, be more locked in. So, such good stuff. Can't wait to see what he can do this year, especially after having the chance to hear from him. And then we need to fact check that roommate thing to make <laughs> sure he's telling the truth. All right, coming up next on BBN tonight, we're getting ready for kickoff with a few legendary moments from the past few years. I already have chills. We'll be right back. <laughs>